Welcome and thank you so much for checking out this tips and tricks video. I think you're going to really enjoy it. I compiled some of the best tips and tricks that not a lot of people know. So I'm hoping a lot of these are new for you and that you really enjoy it. I want to thank you so much for signing up for my email list. As free videos come out, I'll go through and let you know in case you're interested in checking them out. So here, let's go ahead and just jump right into some of these and show you how they're going to work. So first, I'm going to go ahead and show you some stuff with texting. We'll go ahead and get into our text. All right, so we're in a new text. So if you ever want to go ahead and let people know where you're at, the best thing to do is just say, I'm at space. And then if your location services for messaging is turned on, which is by default, it'll say current location. All you do is go ahead and tap on current location and it will send them a map with your address. So this is very good if someone's coming over to your house for the first time and they need to know where you're at. Now, I'm not going to do it here because I don't want people to know my location on the internet, but that's simply how you do it. Next thing's going to be sending stickers. So if you do have some stickers, you can go ahead and click on them. Find which one you want, like the, uh, which one do we got here? The one yelling. <laughs> we'll put that on the 180 and we'll drop that. So they'll be able to see that now that they did that. So you just drag and drop it up. It's pretty awesome. Next item is Safari. So if you're ever in Safari and you close a link that you didn't mean to, for example, I see home helpful tutorials. If I close that by mistake, I can hold the plus button here down and it'll come up and show me helpful tutorials and I can go ahead and select that and it'll open back up exactly on the page that we were at. Pretty awesome tip. Also, if you ever want to go ahead and get the desktop view, if you hold down the refresh button, it'll come down at the bottom and say request desktop site. So you can go ahead and load the full desktop site instead of the mobile, which is very helpful on certain things when it is needed. So a lot of things people don't know with Apple Music is you can go ahead and skip to the next song and go back one. But if you actually hold down the button, it will allow you to go ahead and skim through it. As you can see, it's going a few seconds faster and faster and faster if you want to get to that certain point. And it also does work with the rewind as well. You can go backwards. So that's pretty awesome. Something else with Apple Music, if you ever do want to search and you don't know the song, you can search by lyrics and it's even advertising now. So I guess this is starting to become popular, but you can go ahead and type in the lyrics and it will go ahead and bring it up. And in the new iOS 13, when it comes out, it will actually have all the lyrics in the songs as you go. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and choose settings. We're going to go down and choose battery. Here it's going to go ahead and show you your battery health overall and if you go ahead and choose that and also your 24 hours you can go ahead and look at the graph here and if you see like a huge fall where the battery level goes down you can actually tap in there to be more specific what's going on in that area and it'll show you what item was being used that used the most battery. So if you see a huge dip on the chart, most people don't know, but you can actually tap in there and see. Let's go ahead and go back in the settings. We're gonna go down to Control Center, choose Customize Controls, and we're gonna scroll down here, and we're looking for hearing. We're gonna add hearing, and then we can go back out of that now let's go back to the main screen. So now we can pull down and we can go ahead and tap on hearing. And what will happen is if you have your earbuds hooked up, you'll be able to choose live listen. What that does is the earbuds listen to what's going on around you and it will go ahead and rebroadcast it to you. So if you're having any problems with hearing or it's really hard to hear, or you're trying to hear someone from really far away, Basically, live listen will go through and help basically work like a hearing aid, which is pretty cool. The next tip I'd like to show you is how to get the phone louder. To do that, what we want to do is go ahead and choose settings. And we'll go ahead and scroll down till we get to music. Here we want to choose EQ. And you just want to set it to late night. It's the loudest profile there is. 
it's a lot louder than any other so you will gain some volume on your phone so if you want it louder that's the way to do it so something that always bothers me is sometimes a word will keep correcting it every time i type it i know give is one that happens a lot so we'll use that as an example let's go and choose settings and from here we're going to go ahead and find general here we're going to go ahead and choose keyboard and now we're going to choose text replacement we're going to go ahead and hit the plus sign in the top right here you're going to go ahead and type that word i'll type give and then just write the exact same word this also can help in other ways like if you ever wanted a phrase you could say hello how are you and you could have a shortcut hh which stands for hello how are you so anytime you go ahead and type hh it'll go ahead and type that next something else that annoys people is all those messages in games that ask you to please rate them there's a good way to turn them off all you do is go into settings scroll down to itunes and app store and you want to look for in-app ratings and reviews and just turn that off that way it won't be forcing you to go ahead and always try to get you to rate those also another thing you can do is move multiple apps at one time just hold it down till it shakes and then just pull it down and then just tap on the other apps and you'll be able to move multiple apps at one time and then when you let go they will all just spread out in the order they were clicked so the last one would be the last one in the list this is after version 12 and later so if you if it doesn't work for you that's probably because you have a version that's not quite there yet and those are a bunch of tips and tricks that a lot of people don't know i will go ahead and make another video in the future with more of these i have so many that i've written down but i want to go ahead and just start with this one. I really hope all of those tips and tricks helped you. I know there are a lot of great ones and I wanna thank you so much for the view.